G'day there, Rick Rafters from Bushsong Web Consulting here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add images to your articles. Now, uh, images can be added at the time of doing the article, but uh, in this series of video, I've sort of broken it up so that uh, uh, you can see it in a progressive sort of a manner. So the article that we're going to be working on is one that we did in an earlier video, and it was on Glencoe Fish Hatchery at Bort. And uh, so, as you can see, it looks reasonably bland on the page because there's no images. We do have some from the business. So what we're going to do now is to go into our administration area uh, where you can log in. And then you simply click on your article manager. And uh, the easiest way to find articles, particularly in a big site, is often to you know drop down the category uh, uh, check box and uh, find the category that the article is in and it will load just the articles in that category so in this case it's to do with tourism in Bort so I've only got uh, what have we got six articles there so easy to find we want the one on the Glencoe fish hatchery so we call that one up and here it is on the screen now all right oh now to uh, add images you simply will go into the article editing area and place your cursor where you want to add the image in this case, I want to add it right at the beginning there. And then in the editor panel up here, uh, I use the JCE editor, from uh, which is a Joomla extension. It's free. Uh, and this icon here allows me to insert or edit images. So I click on that. And it brings up my image manager. I'll just move that up the screen a little bit. So you can see now on the left hand side here, you've got all your folders. And at the moment, because I'm in the root directory, uh, it's, it's showing all the folders here as well. Now, when Joomla is set up, the uh, it sets up several image folders under the images directory. The one where uh, your images go is into stories. Uh, but I set up subdirectories in there for all my categories or sections so that I can easily find the images that I want to use in my articles. And uh, that's what I would suggest that you do also, uh, unless it's a very small site, of course. So in this case, we know that the uh, the article is to do with Bort, so the images will be in the Bort folder. So we click on Bort, and it loads my images there that are in this folder. Now here, I can click on the A to Z, uh, which will, um, that one there, beg your pardon, uh, that's got them in reverse order, Z to A. So now I'm going to sort it in alphabetical order so it's easy to find. Now for this particular article, I want to use the image uh, in the place where we're currently located of the Murray Cod, which is here, murraycod.jpg. And over here, you can see that when I click on that, it brings up a thumbnail of the image. So I know that I'm on the right one. The URL you don't need to worry about, but the alternate text uh, is an important tag uh, for search engine purposes, and it just uh, pulls up the front of the, the image name. So here we want to type in a description of the image, Murray Cod at uh, Glencoe Fish Hatchery in Bort. Now the dimensions of the image are the ones that have been loaded I would suggest that you don't make the mistake of loading images that are 2,000 pixels wide by 1,500 high and then resizing the image here. You can do it, but the problem is that when the page loads, it loads all of that size of the image and then um, reduces it down. And all that does is make the page take a lot longer to load and you know visitors can get impatient and leave the site. So make sure that you load your images in the size that you intend to show them online. The alignment uh, sets up whether the, the uh, image will be shown to the left or to the right. Uh, and in this case, we're going to put it to the left. Um, and the margin uh, sets the spacing around the image. If you don't set any spacing in the margin, then the text can cramp up next to it and make it look rather horrible. So because this image is going to be to the left, uh, on the left hand side of the article, we want say 10 pixels on the right hand side of it and 10 pixels at the bottom. 
All we do then is go down here to the insert area and insert the photo and there it is showing in the article. Now we've got another uh, uh, image that we want to add to this page as well and uh, I think we'll put it down here uh, so that it's uh, balanced out on the site. Again we click on the image icon, pull up our image editor or our manager and this one well we could uh, sort them all but I can see it's right there at the top and the one I want is growing tanks so I click on that again the thumbnails up there and uh, Go to the alternate text here, fish growing tanks at Glenco Fish Hatchery in board. Right, our dimensions are there, our alignment. Well, this one I think we'll put on the right hand side so that it balances out on the page. Unclick our equal values, and because this one's on the right, we want 10 pixels to the left and 10 pixels at the bottom as a margin. You can put borders in, I don't usually bother. Okay, and we'll just simply insert this picture and there it is appearing in the article there. Now, rather than save the article at this point, I generally apply the changes uh, so that I can easily come back into my administration area if the images aren't looking as I want them to on the screen. So we'll just simply apply it message comes up that has successfully changed the save the changes we go back to our site and refresh our page and there we go we've got our images coming up nicely on the page we've got some space out to the right for the text so it's not cramped up so that looks uh, you know reasonably well presented there and dresses up the page a fair bit so then we can go back to our administration area save the, uh, the article and we're back into our article manager and that's it that's all there is to uh, adding images to your Joomla articles I'm Rick Raftus from Bush Song Web Consulting I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and don't forget if you have any inquiries or questions about Joomla development uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with us I'll see you around mm -hmm.